Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So I'm seeing the Ace of Wands to the Page of Swords, right? Um, this is the energy of, you know, the potential in you is being recognized. The potential of you is being acknowledged. It's being seen. All right. This definitely has to do with business here. Let's see what's going on with this energy. We have the sun to the queen of wands here. We have Leo. We have double Leo energy. We have Sagittarius and Aries energy here. We have the Hermit, and then we have the Eight of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is like, you know, you are being, I just see you being approved for something here for a specific career, job, position. Okay, this has to do with business. This has to do with career, okay? So you are being approved here. Um, this is like being confirmed or receiving confirmation. Okay. And it's like, as you're being approved, your curriculum vitae, right? Your CV, your accolades, your skills or talents or gifts are very much needed here. Okay. It's like you, they see you as somebody that has the capability to do so much for the business, the company, the corporation, you know, um, the franchise. Like, I'm just, this specific career here, it's like you are being seen as somebody that is needed in it. And you are being acknowledged in a very beautiful way because of that right the fact that you are being seen as needed there are other people that applied for this job job or other people that could have been approved for this position however i'm seeing that the way in which it's going to go is like they don't need to think twice when it comes to you there is this is in relation to your accolades this is in relation to your skills right
I'm just kidding. There's no way that they're going to say no here. I'm getting you too good at something or you have the potential to really change and evolve and elevate a specific um, uh, career here. Job. So you, you will be approved for this job, right? This career, this position. You are going to receive confirmation if you haven't already. And it's something that's really looking up for you because you're going to be acknowledged, all right, in a way that they see exactly why they need you. You're not just going to be acknowledged in a way of like, yeah, you can be here. It's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, nah. This is like they know exactly why they want you there. Okay. We have the three of swords reversed. It's like not a lot of time was spent evaluating you because the skills or the the accolades you possess are enough all right okay we have the six of cups here we have virgo we have double sagittarius energy triple sagittarius energy actually we have gemini and then we have scorpio energy okay so you won't get um disappointing news all right when it comes to this job this career okay you won't need to start from square one again or you won't need to try again somewhere else okay We have the Page of Cups to the Five of Wands. Okay, so the environment that you're going to be working in, I am seeing that it is a very hostile environment in a way that there's a lot of competition going on and a lot of belittling going on. Um, it's like everybody wants to be better than the next person or everybody wants to do better than the next person in this environment of the job, the work field, um, this corporation, this business here. It's like, that's the energy. And I am seeing that it's something that's been like that for years, decades. It's never going to change, right? It's like there's something about this place that or this specific career, this job that is, is, is like a very competitive, very competitive job, very competitive career. Okay. And these people that are also in the same work field or are also working under the same business company corporation, you know, in the same position of, of it here, it's like, they also want to be the best. Okay. That's why there's this, um, I wouldn't say it's corruption, but like there is the energy of like sabotage. So when you get there, or if you aren't there already, make sure that you don't just befriend anybody, right? Use your discernment wisely when you approach any situation in terms of the colleagues, because people there are looking to sabotage anyone and you are going to be seen as fresh meat, right? And you got to be mindful in that way because anytime is tea time, they can, you can befriend the wrong person and they compromise and sabotage this job, this career, this position you are in, right? It's like they just want to take out the competition, right? So don't take it personally as if something's wrong with you. You just seen as competition or a threat. Okay. We do also have double Aries energy and we also have Pisces energy here. 
We have the Page of Pentacles. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. We also have Cancer energy with this Page of Cups. Yeah, and the Moon, double Cancer. So all these pages here, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and then now we have the Page of Wands, and then we have the Moon. And then we have the Six of Swords, okay? So I am seeing here that you know, the people you work for are going to be pleased by the work that you do or the work ethic, okay, that you possess here. So you don't have to worry about your superiors feeling a type of way about anything that you do in terms of work. But this is like, this has to do with like the people you are going to connect with in the workplace. Don't try to just associate yourself with anybody just because you are new, right? It's okay to be reserved. You know, it's okay to build a wall up as soon as you enter the premises so that they know not to play with you like that. Because once you get to smiling and you smile with the wrong people, they're going to see an opportunity, all right? They're going to they're gonna see, oh, okay, let me see how I can take this one out or how I can put this one in a compromising position to self-sabotage themselves in this, in this um, career, in this job. All right, emphasis on the people that you are going to be working with here, these colleagues. They, some of them ain't right, all right? They are people that are right, all right? It's not like everybody in there is out to get you, but because you are new, you need to know who's right and who isn't, and that's going to take some time. Don't just get there and automatically feel all this welcome energy, or oh, I got to speak to this, or oh, this one is so, this other. It's like see people for what they are evaluate people from a perspective of non-emotions and just logic and, and 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 in a way of like business minded with it right It's like these energies of people that ain't right, they tend to want to deflect their own lack of skills on another person. So if they see that you are really good at something or you're really skilled or you are somebody that is seen in that way by the superiors, excuse me, they're going to hide the envy but they is always they always going to carry it with them, right? They're not going to show it. That's why it's important to be discerning, like who's the snake in the grass and who's genuine. Okay. Don't forget this is like this is money, right? And you know when it has to do with money, everybody is hungry or everybody's trying to survive. All right. So this definitely just has to do with the people that you're going to associate yourself with here. The way in which you stand out or the way in which you are introduced to them, like first impression, is very significant. Like an example, an analogy, a reference point, a case study. Let's say you walk into this uh, perimeter, right? You, work, you, you, you walk into this establishment and you automatically carry the energy of just being very reserved or very unbothered. It's going to be hard for the next person to have accessibility to you in that way, to be able to sabotage you, compromise you, even gossip about you because your boundaries have already been set by the way in which you are presenting yourself. This is work. All right, the real you, the person you are in, 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 in your identity, those that you trust can experience that. But this is a job. This is work, okay? So when you are in that work, everybody else is having a mask. Not every smile is genuine. Not every hello is like people just be saying it. You know what I mean? So... That's what I'm saying when I say you got to be mindful and discerning on who you allow yourself to connect with. 
Don't just be smiling with anybody. So, you know, coming back to the generalization of this message here, it's okay to be somebody that um, people don't know like that. Like, you can work in an establishment and people just know you to be somebody that is just reserved. Like, they, oh, she don't talk much, she don't talk much. Or, you know, you're not there to be liked anyway. You're there to work. So you shouldn't go there with the energy of that one needs to like me or I need to develop a relationship with that colleague. Uh, friend, you know, a friendship based, obviously, but like, you don't walk into a workspace and want to be liked. People don't care. You know, everybody's there. Some people don't even like to work and they're just doing it because they have to. Again, that survival energy. So it's okay to walk into an establishment and present yourself to be in a very reserved way or somebody that isn't just accessible to anybody. If they smile at you, don't mean you got to smile back. You can just be kind. Being kind has nothing to do with smiling. All right? People start to get the wrong idea. Oh, they, oh, shame. They, it's so sweet. Uh, uh, so sweet because you just smiled. That's what I'm saying. You can be kind without being somebody that gets taken advantage of because of just the kind, the kind of way you portray being kind. All right. And when you are asked to like do things as like, oh, do you want to meet up after work? Or somebody tries to make small talk with you again with the smiling or the energy of like, like just being outside of who you usually are in the workplace don't do that don't be somebody that you are not it's like somebody coming at you and you are a certain way in a certain it's like they know you to be a certain way and now when a specific person comes towards you you change now you all you drop your guard or you know whatever you you are different from your usual self they're going to perceive themselves to be somebody that already has access to you so they are like a they like you know keep your enemies closer type of energy like you gotta be mindful okay We have the Ten of Cups. But ultimately here, I just see you being very happy with the results of this job. Like, you're going to be able to do much more for yourself. There's plenty um, that you're going to be able to do for yourself here, okay? So this is a good, good uh, decision you made by applying for this job. It's a good decision you made by taking this job, okay? But everything else outside of that, outside of your actual job, which is the people or, you know what I'm saying, anything else that has to do with anything outside of the job, you got to use discernment, be wise in how you maneuver, navigate, and operate in that space or in those spaces, you know, including the people, right? Let's tap in further to the energy here. Let's see what else. This also has to do with the fact that at the end of the day, energy talks, right? Somebody can have a very weak energy where 
they just get walked all over everybody talks any type of way to them right and somebody can have a different energy where whenever people they they experience them they just they just they be they be ducking or they just like my point is like energy talks for itself so you don't have to prove yourself or you don't have to be on anything your energy alone has a voice of its own right first of the nine of pentacles reversed here Ooh, crazy we have the king of swords reversed and the queen of swords reversed and they both came out together it's like you being asked, right? You being called to remain as aloof, as detached as you possibly can. Don't take anything personally that you hear. If somebody tells you that that person is this way, yeah, they like that. Oh, her, him, oh, they like that. Don't take their word for it. Experience everything on your own. Even if they tell you, experience it on your own and make the decision on your own if you don't see it like that then it's not like that for you and that's okay if that's not what you see then it's okay because here i'm seeing like a lot of talk here all right a lot of people having opinions a lot of people um being disrespectful about certain things you know how the workplace is you know what i'm saying oh everybody has a stigma attached to them because they're this they that they like that they like this and with you, you also going to have stigmas attached to you, but the perception of another person has nothing to do with your own true self based on your identity. You can perceive me to be a certain type of way, but my husband and my brother and anybody that's connected to me, they know me for me. The perception of another person has nothing to do with me. You are just experiencing it. And because you're going to be in that environment where there's stigmas attached to you, don't take it personally. Don't get disrespectful with anybody. Don't feel the need to speak up and say and, 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 and correct somebody. Let people assume. Let them think the way they want to think. Don't allow yourself to ever feel a type of way about it. All right? Clarify the Six of Swords here stay in your energy stay in your power yeah we have the emperor all right don't engage in anything that lowers your vibration don't engage in anything that takes away from you all right you don't have to be the way they are okay I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path i also offer on my patreon personal readings for 50 dollars per month you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path as well as career and finances you'll find the link to my patreon listed in my description box below you can also join my patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.